why running for city council? Why now? Uh, what, what's the reason for your candidacy? I'm running for Fairfield City Council for two reasons. First is an earnest desire to serve and really give back. I love being a part of Fairfield. I really appreciate the community and I'm thankful for everything it's given me. So I'm eager to take an opportunity to give back when it presents itself. The second reason I'm, I'm running is really just to make Fairfield the best. Uh, Fairfield is a wonderful community. It gets a lot of attention, positive attention from a lot of different places. Uh, but there is one area that stands out that I think could use some improvement, and uh, that is our city's credit rating. So I'm running to create financial sustainability to put the city of Fairfield in the strongest financial position possible moving forward. And of course, uh, as an immediate goal to reverse this trend of, of credit downgrade. Okay. Um, so what about your past work experience or community experience do you think would help you be a good council person? I've been involved in, in government and public policy for, for many years. Presently, I'm the chairman of the Republican Party of Jefferson County. I'm a member of the Fairfield Young Professionals Organization. I'm a parishioner at St. Mary's Catholic Church. Um, I was a former officer on the Toastmasters International uh, group in, in Fairfield. I really enjoy helping out and volunteering at all the different art events and cultural affairs. Uh, this last summer, the uh, Fairfest Music Festival sent out certificates to their volunteers calling them community rock stars. Uh, so I thought that was a lot of fun. Three most important concerns for Fairfield going forward. And they don't necessarily have to be something wrong, but I mean, what, sure. what are some things that, the three things that you feel like need to be addressed? Uh, the three most important issues for the next Fairfield City Council, number one, I do believe, is creating financial sustainability. Uh, addressing this credit downgrade. I mean, right now we're amongst, we're the worst in Iowa. So I think we need to take swift and serious action to correct that. Thankfully, uh, the current leadership has taken some steps, but um, you know, I want to be involved in the discussion to make sure it happens and corrects itself as quickly as possible. The second most important issue is the, the sewer project, the infrastructure upgrade. Uh, we, we've needed this project for 20 years now. We're really at the end of the line. And I think it'll be a big burden relieved off the city's uh, shoulders when we see this project through completion. Uh, the third issue, really simply, uh, is just making Fairfield the best. Uh, the best for, for young families, the best for entrepreneurs, the people who are really going to grow our economic base. And uh, that is a broad goal. I mean, that includes having a vital and vibrant downtown, um, having the appropriate housing that our demographic needs and everything that, that goes into that. Uh, so it is a broad goal, but yeah, bottom line, make Fairfield the best. So the housing situation does need, does need improvement in Fairfield. And I think there is room for, for new development. And that's why it's so important to have that financial sustainability so we can have the city be flexible in pursuing these projects as they come forward and expanding our residential tax base. Okay. Um, and we've talked about this a couple times, but we'll, we'll get a little bit more detail. The, the, the credit rating downgrade and the debt issue, um, not a good situation. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, but obviously you, you hear that and you think, oh, the world's falling and it's not quite th th that. But you got some debt to pay off and there's only two ways to do that. Mm -hmm. You can either dramatically cut services or you can increase your revenue taxes and you guys are already basically at the, at the top level. So short term, what's that going to mean for people? Long term, what's that going to mean? What's the solution? Uh, so yeah, the, the credit downgrade and our credit integrity is vitally important to the city of Fairfield. And uh, you know, the, we've known the answers. The answers are pretty simple. We've got to first reject any deficit, any budget deficits, and we've got to get back on a budget surplus to build up our reserves. And so in the short term, I think that is going to mean that we're going to have to cut some spending. Uh, but when we, we get back on track and do build up those reserves, long term, I think it's going to be developing the budgeting tools uh, to, to give our city you know, flexibility in, in uh, financial flexibility for whatever comes up on the horizon. Community, what's Fairfield have going for it that you know, in the future you can build on? Fairfield has a lot going for it. And this is a, an easy question and a fun one to answer. A Fairfield's greatest asset, without a doubt, is its people. It's the people who, who have been born and raised there for generations. It's the people who've come from all over the country, brought their families with them to make a living in our town. It's, it's the entrepreneurs and their ingenious businesses. It's, it's the artists and the creative folks who give us live music and entertainment every single day a week. Uh, it's the diverse cultures that come together and make Fairfield such a unique spot to live and to visit. So uh, it, it's the people. It's each and every single one of them as individuals. That's, that's what Fairfield's greatest asset is. Okay. And uh, economic development-wise, always a big one. Where would you like to see 
Fair, uh, where, where, what can the city council do to kind of help spur economic development? Now, yeah, there, there's always room for, for additional economic growth. Uh, really, I look at the whole west side of town. You know, there's a lot of aging infrastructure, a lot of aging buildings. Uh, one project that I really liked that impressed me was they uh, did, uh, the Pathfinders did the farm to school greenhouse right near that old factory. Right. So I think there's plenty of opportunity for creative ideas like that. Okay. Um, I'll just give you a chance here at the end. Is there anything you like to say, anything I didn't touch on, any issues you'd like to address? Uh, I, I really wish that uh, you'll join me in creating financial sustainability for the city of Fairfield, and I hope I can earn your vote on November 3rd.